Hey, what is going on guys? This is Doc R signing back in our Clash of Clans. Um, how are you guys doing today? Um, I have been doing fabulous. Just been busy with life and stuff like that. Um, we've been doing a couple Knights and Dragons videos here and they've been doing really well. Um, I do want to sprinkle in a little bit of Clash of Clans here and there. I don't know if that's predominantly going to be what takes over my channel, but I do want to have it on there. Um, so here we go. So one thing that we have going on... Um, let's go ahead and donate to these guys real quick. Be a good clan member. He says any. He wants high level loons in haste. We don't have any loons, so we'll get those cooking up right now. High level loons and some haste. Um, so taking a look at this, guys. Uh, so we are facing the warriors. Hopefully KD and Seth Curry sits out this one. Um, or else I'll probably clutch a win. Um, but yeah, we're going against the warriors here. Um, I think we should be pretty good. Um, my boy Dano isn't going to be participating in this war. I'm just kind of busy with stuff. Uh, it would definitely be good to have him. Uh, we do have mini Dano in here, so that's good. I think he's been working on uh, some dark elixir, so he's been giving us some tips and stuff like that. And I've been watching a couple videos. Uh, who knows? We might be just be putting out a video ourselves uh, for some dark elixir rating. I'm um, looking at that real quick. I've got my king, he's got two days, 22 hours, so almost three days, um, and he'll be back in business, um, and we do have 60 dark elixir, or 60,000 dark elixir, we've been farming quite a bit, um, taking a look, uh, there's some fails, okay, there are some fails, so before I hear in the comments section, I, I will uh, give that disclaimer, um, so we got uh, 1100 here, 614, this one was a, a sweet honey hole, uh, that we could not hit. I just could not get in the core of that base. Uh, 27, 31, uh, 32 almost. Uh, 24, there's another fail sauce. Uh, 760, 3000, 3200, 24. Um, so yeah, this is, this is kind of what I've been doing. Um, a lot of the balloons and minions, I know that the minions do cost a little bit and the haste. Um, but, you know, I've been getting a, a fair share back, so nothing too crazy. We have been getting attacked quite a bit. Um, yeah, this guy. So we haven't been losing too much dark. Looks like every now and then somebody will come in and kind of wipe us out. But uh, I believe the no no base is, is un-three-starable. Is that a word? Un-three-starable? No base is, can go undefeated. Um, so it is what it is. So can't really be upset there. We're going to go ahead and get that going. We'll pop in two wizards, some archers. I know i got a weird ar army composition here. I, I was training up for some CC. Uh, got all those guys filled up. Let's see, his loons are almost ready. So yeah, that's a, that's a lot of what I've been doing, guys. Um, we do not want to do that wall. There we go. Yeah, I've just been farming a lot of the Dark Elixir. I do want to get my heroes up. Um, they are at a pretty good level. Archer Queen at level 15. Barb King going to level 17, I believe. Is that what he's going to? Or is that what he's at? Maybe he's going to 18. I'm not sure. We'll have to see here in a few days to see where that one ends up. Um, but that's what I've been working a lot on. I've been doing a lot of uh, dark raids and just kind of switching up the composition and seeing what works and seeing what doesn't work. Um, I think I will do, we'll do a theory. Um, let me know down below what uh, raids that you guys usually like to do for Dark Elixir. Uh, the ones that I found um, was definitely this Loon Minion, uh, the La Loon. Um, let's see, the other ones was um, had to do with the goblins and wizards and stuff like that. Uh, or the giants and wizards, um, traditional. A couple of queen walks. Um, and then a lot of ones that I seen was the goblin knives which I've seen a lot of people have success and I've seen a lot of people have some failures with it. Uh, me, myself, I've had a fair share of failures with those ones, so I don't know how how excited I'd be to try a goblin knife again because I know how well I don't do with them, so I don't know, we'll see. We got that haste ready, perfect. Let's go and jump on over here to the builder's hall, guys. Um, so I have been working, um, you know, since you guys has last seen a video on this and stuff like that, I have been putting a little bit of work. We've just been doing little upgrades here and there. Uh, we do have the battle machine going up to level 2, um, which is exciting about that one. We should have him back, I think that, yeah, 8 hours. So we'll have him back, you know, right after our loot's available for us so we can still use him for attack. 
Um, we are maxed out on the gold, so we'll have to upgrade something. Uh, I'm not really sure. Somebody was saying uh, to upgrade the cannons and just get those cannons maxed as soon as possible. Um, I don't know. In my opinion, I like to do the Archer Queen or yeah, the, or the Archer Towers. Sorry, not Archer Queens. Uh, mini Archer Queens. I like to do the Archer Towers just because I feel that they do quite a bit more damage and they have and they're more versatile, being able to attack um, air troops and ground troops. So I think those ones are definitely best to upgrade. Uh, the Crusher is pretty beast. Um, air bombs, do we need to upgrade them? I think they do do a lot of damage. Um, let's take a look here. Battle log. So this last one here, um, we use giants and archers. And I, I have been using a lot of giants and archers. I wonder why he didn't use his war machine. Does he not have one? Um, we lost this one. This was a complete fail. Um, kind of ran out of time here. Um, fail sauce. Um, it's definitely been a lot of a lot of hit and miss and a lot more misses um, that I've seen lately. That's for sure, guys. So, so I so I am uh, you know putting in work and trying to figure out the right strategy to do. Um, so let me look here and I want to show you guys this. So you guys probably have seen a lot of people using the giants and cannon carts. So if I take a look here, damage per second is a hundred. And down here, the units per camp, I've got two. So that means I can do 200 damage per second. Now, if I go over here to the archers, and I'm probably going to ruin this math, um, we have damage per second is going to be 53, but I have six units per army camp. So six times uh, 53, six times five is going to be 300, six times three is going to be 18. Uh, so... 318 damage per second all of these archers can do um, versus the cannon cart so so i definitely i'm favoring my archers right now over the cannon carts we'll see what happens once i get that cannon cart leveled up um, it is you know it's not that much more but still increase per damage um, you've got 10 let's see increase last stand ability when do we get another one here um not for a while looks like I thought you got an extra maybe you always have two cannon carts yeah I don't know I'm just not filling the cannon carts I've definitely been using the archers now the minions have been quite a bit of fun if I'm able to take out like the air bomb and stuff I'll definitely use that so that's kind of what I've been doing but um, yeah I just wanted to kind of kind of keep you guys up to date of what I've been doing going on with Clash of Clans and how it's been working for me. Let me know down below how your base is, what builders hall are you, what town hall are you. Um, just kind of let me know that. And definitely what a Dark Elixir, you know, uh, attack strategies are you guys using. Because um, if there's something better than what I have, then the loons and minions, definitely let me know. Um, I think I had somebody down below, um, was the Isaac, shout out to you, man. I think he was saying he, would, he was using uh, in the builders hall a lot of giants and minions and that was kind of the reason why i used a couple attacks with minions um just because once you get that air bomb out of the way those uh um what is it the air defenses definitely don't do too much or the firecracker sorry they definitely don't do too much they're not overpowering or anything like that so uh, but yeah definitely let me know down in the comments below and also um, if you guys haven't noticed yet down in the description i've got a little bit more i've uh, been working a little bit more behind the scenes um, I actually got my Twitter and Instagram set up, so make sure you follow me down on uh, on Twitter um, at Redstone Doctor, and Instagram is Doctor Redstone, all one word. Um, and if you want to get a hold of me online or kick, uh, you could definitely do that. Get a hold of me at Doctor Redstone, all one word, lowercase. Uh, feel free and reach out with me with any comments or anything you guys got like that. Um, definitely comment down below, and appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting from you guys. Uh, and definitely appreciate it. So uh, big thank you to, to everybody watching the videos. Um, let's see if we can get about, I don't know, five likes maybe on this video. That would be awesome. Um, and until next time, this is Doc R signing out. Thanks, YouTube.